Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play The Binding of Isaac. We are on challenge runs again. So this run was suggested by Jin Dragon. It's like Jin, J-I-N, J-R-A-G-U-N. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but in any case, this is a themed run based on the character of Greed from the game. So I'm gonna be using triple shot like Greed. Uh, I tried to give myself infinite money, but in doing so I gave myself infinite bombs and keys as well. Uh, as well as the portable slot machine. So who knows, this could be interesting. I'm gonna make use of the uh, infinite bombs and keys as well. Maybe that is going to be not in our best interest, but in any case, we'll see what the heck's going on here. So basically, we're just rolling straight up uh, greed style. And I am also going to, uh, there's no restrictions here with respect to item rooms or things like that, because obviously, uh, if we were going, just with like, basically in terms of damage, all we have here is triple shot and unlimited bombs and keys. So that was not enough to beat the game. We're gonna see what we can get from item rooms. I have a feeling we're basically just starting with triple shot and unlimited money here. So I think we've got a good chance of, of making some successful things happen here. Maybe what we should do is maybe make a restriction. Item rooms are not okay, but shops are okay, are okay or vice versa. Actually, we should probably do item rooms are not okay, but shops are okay, because that's gonna fit in with the, uh, the greed mode But I will take items from boss rooms. We gotta balance it out a little bit. I was just thinking about it and I was like, well, if we just do it like this, it's basically like I just started a normal game with triple shot and unlimited bombs and keys and money, which is to totally not fair uh, when it comes to actually having like a, a run where I have at least a chance at failure. That gives us a pretty huge chance of success. But in any case, this should be an interesting run. Uh, he, uh, Jin Dragon here, had all sorts of suggestions for one for each of the seven deadly sins, but I think greed was the one that uh, kind of appealed to me the most. Right off the bat, not least of which, uh, in terms of my motivations for that, was because Greed is the most asshole en enemy to me. Or at least was in the, you know, early part of this Let's Play. So I think, starting as Greed, we're gonna have a fairly good chance to, you know, do to the game what the game has done to us on many occasions. If nothing else, I'm always happy to have a run where you get triple shot or something like that. And the opportunities to get items from the shop means we can pick up something like Blue Candle. Who knows? In the meantime, though... We are simply going to focus on getting to the... I'm just trying to blow up the TNT. Getting to the uh, boss room as soon as possible, because we're going to be fighting two bosses at... Well, not the same time, but in the same room. Uh, which should allow us to succeed pretty quickly here. So we're going to be hoping for... I mean, it, last run, we did just fine. We didn't beat Isaac, but we got to the cathedral on that uh, Wicked Lord of the Flies run. And with all of these keys, I might as well see what we're missing in these item rooms at the very least. See what we've got down here. We've got, uh, that is Remote Detonator, which is not a very solid item in my own right, but I'm sure at some point I will end up doing a challenge run with that just because I hate it so much. There's our other boss room. Let's see what we got in there. Uh, that would be Demon Baby. That would be a solid item to pick up. Let's see what we can get from Demon Judgment here, though. But yes, on that Lord of the Flies run, I was forbidden from going to item rooms and getting items from any source, really. So this is much better for us, or for me, at least in terms of you know, getting some more enjoyment, getting some more high-powered items. I'm just playing the shit out of our portable slot machine here to see if maybe I can pick up some hearts and I don't have to do too much backtracking. And clearly this is not unlimited money. My money is starting to run out here, but we'll play until we get down to 85 cents. Then Demon Judgment can S on my Bs. Savor my biscuits. Try to save that one quickly for the kitties. But anyway, we're going to come up here. That was Kid T's, not Kitties. If you got kids watching this, you're a terrible parent. If you got cats watching this, you rule! So we're gonna pick up a little bit of extra money down here. And of course now we'll probably get a... Well, we got a bomb right off the bat. So close to a self-fulfilling prophecy there. Uh, we're gonna come out here. I know that's not the definition of what a self-fulfilling prophecy is. Forgive me! Sometimes when I freestyle, I lose confidence. We're going to come down and pick up this heart, of course. And hopefully come across the boss room soon. I'm expecting some fairly weak resistance from our first bosses here. I kind of want to go back and say hello to Demon Judgment, just because we're basically done with this floor as is. And we're doing Duke Flies, who is obviously no-brainer for us with respect to uh, doing damage with Triple Shot. By the way, I just want to point out, I do this in every video now, but thank you guys for suggesting these challenge runs. Dude, it's, it's doing a good job reinvigorating this game for me, I feel. I've, I've never really gotten tired of Isaac, but there have been times when, you know, my Isaac fever has been cured without the use of extra cowbell. Uh, and this is helping to stoke the fire a little bit. I did take a damage there, which is stupid, but um, yeah, I'm enjoying this, giving myself like these homemade, home-brewed restrictions, basically. Uh, and it's making for some more exciting gameplay, I feel. Except for that Ipecac My Reflection run, which can, again, S my bees. Salt my butter tarts. I am a terrible chef. Okay, so we've got this extra health. What do we get here? We get Pin, who is probably the easiest boss we could possibly fight right now. So let's just go to town on him, presumably, assuming he doesn't hit himself, which he probably will, as you can see. <laughs> uh, he might have missed himself there, but he was very narrow. 
Um, we should be able to kill this guy, you know, 20 or 30 shots max. And I would love some kind of damage upgrade or, if possible, uh, a deal with the devil. Although I do not want Brimstone or Mom's Knife. That's been a common restriction is, hey, Northern Lion, start with these items. You can go to deal with, deals with the devil room, but no Mom's Knife allowed. All right, I get the point. Everyone hates Mom's Knife, except me. I disagree. I think it's the greatest item in the game. Maybe that's why people don't want to see it, but anyway. Speed upgrade. Kind of garbage for us, but Greed is a fast little devil. And we get Guppy's Paw in addition to nine lives. We could go real crazy on this one. Like so. Um, we might as well stick with Guppy's Paw for now, because it's the only way we're going to actually get some help. Sucks to lose Portable Slot Machine, but let's be... Oh, I, now I can't go to Demon Judgment, but let's be honest. I was never going to use Portable Slot Machine when I have unlimited bombs and keys anyway. So now we're going down to Caves XL. Again, this is why I like having 99 or 98 keys. Because now, we can always see uh, what we're missing from these... Oh, can't bake it. Uh, what we're missing from these item rooms. Now, these are tough rooms. Uh, we do or would like some extra damage at some point. This is becoming kind of a problem with these guys being a total pain in the dick. Just kill some, please. Oh my god, we still can't sneak through. We're gonna take more damage. We're gonna take a lot more damage, sadly. There's no reason Eyeless Ooze guys should be this difficult. There we go. We finally opened up a seam in them. It should be easy enough for us to go through now. Of course, we'll go for regular judgment. We do have 99 cents. Not unlimited money, but, you know, the closest approximation I could do with my limited understanding of the cheat engine. Obviously, we'll turn that into three spirit arts via Guppy's Paw. Come on, let me... There we go. Now, we're gonna be missing out on the poop, which is, a, as you might expect, an god-awful item. Well, as, not as you might expect, as you might remember. As you should remember, because it's what Blue Baby starts with, and did so many Blue Baby runs trying to get up to Platinum God. It was a dark time in my life, what can I say? I'm not proud of it. But we eventually got the job done back there. And eventually we get the job done with these challenge runs, too. That's the way Dad did it. That's the way America does it. And it's worked out pretty well so far. Well, I'm gonna take some more damage. Maybe it hasn't worked out as well as I thought. I'm trying to resist the temptation to use these 99 bombs or 98 bombs that we have now. And instead, just focus on being a good little boy here. Playing to the rules of the challenge, as you might expect. And the ultimate deal with the devil now? Poor Babylon. I realize that's not in keeping with the spirit of greed, necessarily. But greed is good! And what what personifies greed, or what epitomizes greed, more than taking an item you don't need just to rub it in your enemy's face when you're better than him, right? Am I right? We got a dime for that, so I'm going to assume that's a sign from above that we are indeed right, and I can stop asking that rhetorical question. So we're going to take a staggering amount of damage to one silkworm here. Two silkworms. Clearly, I am not cut out for life in the caves XL. I would beg for a deal with the angel, but that's not gonna happen, considering we've already taken a deal with the devil. And we're just looking out for... I mean, I guess I could leave this floor without going to a shop, but that would be silly. I have this battery. Might as well make good use of it at some point. Or did I get battery or 9-volt? I can't remember. That was a tight dodge there. But with these guys now going down into the ooze state, we should start to be able... If they stop being human shields for one another, we should start to be able to kill one. Come on, there we go. One, and hopefully two and three. Finally. Okay, troll bomb, so we are getting the heck out of there. Pill could be useful, we'll see. First things first, we are going to be skipping out on Guardian Angel, an item that is a hit or miss. Tears Up is a sweet upgrade, especially with our triple shot capacity that we've got going on here. So we will be firing a little bit faster, hopefully that'll make us a little bit stronger against the ultimate assholes that we're facing right here. One more shot, yes, and then in the scumbag state. Okay, so we've gone completely in the wrong direction here. Scumbag state would be the worst state motto. Come to... Oh god, which state's fans do I want to piss off? Come to Delaware, the scumbag state. I figured it's got a fairly low population. I'm probably fairly safe. I apologize if you're from the first state of the United States of America. Dover's a beautiful city. I mean, I've never been there. Nobody has. But uh, apparently, I hear it's just chock full of riveting American history. So we're going to destroy these eyeless ooze guys here. We're probably going to use a bomb to get to that treasure chest. And we'll use this pill, which will hopefully give us HP up and more balls of steel. I doubt it. Puberty. All right. Well, you can't win them all. Maybe this awkward phase will culminate in him eventually having the looks of a Chad Michael Murray or Zac Efron. And he'll remember puberty as a great transformative period in his life. Like most people do. Uh, we're going to kill all of these silkworms here. 
Just looked up in the in the credits. These guys are called Chorgers, which reminds me to never look up names in the credits because it's going to completely distract me whenever I'm doing my commentary. So again, we are going to have two boss rooms here. I'm just doing more exploration because I want to go to the shop. I mean, if I can get rid of Guppy's hairball, I will to pick up something like... Or this isn't Guppy's hairball, Guppy's paw. To pick up something like, uh, da -da -da, you know, blue candle, relic, nail, anything like that. Well, we wouldn't, we wouldn't need to get rid of it for Relic, but, you know, you get what I'm saying here. Book of Revelation, stuff like that. Uh, I had somebody... I think the reason Guppy's Hairball was on my mind is because somebody in the comments suggested, Hey, Northern Lion, 10 health, Guppy's Hairball, you can't use bombs or tears, see if you can take down Satan, thumbs up so he can see. Thumbs down, because that idea is silly, and I would not get past probably the first room, much less the first floor. I applaud your creativity and, above all else, your masochism. That's sadism, I always forget. Uh, but, seriously, have some mercy, that's impossible. Mind you, that comment was made before the Ipecac. Oh, come on. Uh, before the Ipecac, my reflection run saw the light of day, so maybe that guy actually just thought I was good at this game and I'm actually the worst player in the history of mankind. So we are gonna come up here. That is not our shop, that is Super Lust. Super Lust can give us Poison Touch. I was hoping we'd fight Gluttony. Let me, of course, can has the potential to give you an HP upgrade. Take that, use Guppy's Paw, we get a little bit of extra Spirit Hearts. And of course the long con here with the Spirit Hearts is that Polaroid is going to give us a ton of invincibility. Luckily, we got that speed upgrade earlier, so Super Lust basically just has no chance to catch us. A-OK -okay in my books. Now, oh, I thought I, I was playing chicken with him, but he outlived me there. Uh, we get the Yum Heart, Meaningless, and an Eternal Heart, which will last, and we'll use that in conjunction with Guppy's Paw, provided we're still holding Guppy's Paw at the end of this floor, uh, to get some uh, extra Spirit Hearts, basically. If we get the extra Heart Container, that's fine too, you know, we can always leverage that and use it somewhere, even if we are going for permanent invincibility. And I don't think a deal with the Devil is going to be in the cards on this floor, but it's possible, I suppose. Take out one more, gotta use a little bit of strategy on these guys, but, you know, not very much at all. Strategy light. And this is a room... We haven't been to this room yet, but... It's a room that connects to kind of this other side of the map, which is good, because maybe... Yes, this is what I was hoping for. Find the shop. And from there, pick up a good item. Or fight Greed. I mean, we do have so much money that it's kind of likely that Greed is going to show up sooner rather than later. Wouldn't it be fitting? Poetic, really. If we died to Greed on the run where we're supposed to emulate Greed. You were supposed to bring balance to the sins, not destroy them! Extra Spirit Heart is always good. And in here we find Notched Axe, which is garbage. And lots of other stuff that is, you know, ranges from garbage to not so garbage. So we are going to have two boss fights to deal with here. I'm hoping we get, ideally, first boss fight, HP upgrade. This is a tough room, actually. Why will this champion not die? Um, first boss fight, HP upgrade, we Guppy's Paw the shit out of that. Then we get to deal with the devil with a better space bar item than Guppy's Paw. Particularly one that would work in conjunction with that battery, which we already bought. But anyway, we are on our way to the boss room right now. Kind of slow going here. I mean, Greed is, is powerful, but he's not the all-powerful being with respect to the Binding of Isaac. Also, quite the head of hair on him. That's what I'd look like if I didn't shave my head these days. Hopefully my skin would be a little bit better, though. And also, you know, taking care of that whole crying in public problem. We're gonna come in here. We got Chubb. We got 97 bombs. I'm gonna use those because I have no conscience and I think we've picked up at least I would estimate that we picked up at least four or five net gross of bombs so I don't feel bad about using some bombs it's just I don't want to abuse them I don't want to pretend like this is a pyro run or something by the way a lot of people have suggested uh, an interesting run I'm just not sure how the balance would work on it uh, and that's like a, a run where you get pyro which is 99 bombs we're definitely gonna take that um, Plan so far working to full effect. Uh, like 99 bombs and then all of the bomb effects. So like Mr. Mega, poison bombs, homing bombs, stuff like that. Uh, I'm not sure how that would work. And a lot of people have suggested like fetus in a jar on top of it. That would just make things far too easy. Uh, but I I'm interested to see if that would work. Uh, the thing is, only 99 bombs? I don't think that's enough to carry me through the entire game. I think I would have to uh, also use tears. So I would still have to go to item rooms probably. I don't know. It'd be interesting for sure. I'm, I'm running a bunch of challenge ideas through my mind right now. Doing a couple videos a day of Isaac just to kind of get a feel for this cheat engine stuff and get better at it. Of course I got hit twice versus Peep because I'm the worst Peep player of all time. It's oh, three times. It's Peep and Bloat, man. Peep and Bloat. Pretty much the story of my weekend. Uh, 
Cat of Nine Tails, pretty garbage item. That's okay, because we did get a deal with the devil where we're going to get something better than... Okay. Here's where things get real interesting. If we take this, we go down to zero health. But we have the nail. And the battery. So we can probably get more spirit hearts. This is interesting. We are going to have one regular heart as well. I don't know how this is going to work. We'll see. We are going to the depths. Uh, apparently that red heart did not count. Uh, so joke's on me. Relying on that for my health. What was I thinking? So much for that eternal heart actually proving useful. So it turns out it probably would have been better just hold on to Guppy's paw. But this strategy could still in... Do I not have the battery? Did I not buy it? Am I a fool? No, battery's working. Okay. Um, yeah, so much for my strategy though. Guppy's paw might have been better, but in the long run... We can still make some good stuff happen here. Because we can, like, basically turn spirit, turn nothing into spirit hearts, which is what we need to do if we want to get a lot of spirit hearts. Whereas with Guppy's Paw, we needed those HP upgrades, and obviously HP upgrades are going to dry up fairly soon. Now I don't feel so bad about using bombs, because obviously we're in kind of more of a dire strait than we used to be. Can't say dire strait without thinking about money for nothing. We're going to die here, I can't believe this. Oh, nail charged just in time. This will also allow us to do extra damage. That's kind of the fringe benefit of Nail that I haven't talked about. Uh, but it's not really that important in relation to what is important, which is doing some damage. and Or not doing some damage, getting some Spirit Heart upgrades. I'd love to get that Eternal Heart, but as we saw, it's totally possible that it might just not work for us. And beyond that, uh, you know what? I'm, I'm trying to show some strength and conviction here. The idea that maybe this nail uh, strategy is not so far-fetched as it schemes, or it seems. I mean, obviously, nail's a great item. Are we on the depths? We are on the fucking depths part, too. Got a comically difficult floors here. Did use a bomb to kind of ease the pressure on us there. I can probably do so again. Maybe not. Oh, okay, we're fine. Battery is charging, so we will get the nail up soon. Thank God for the battery. We're going to pretty quickly be back at that, you know, level of health that I'm used to or accustomed to. And the longer I spend on these rooms, and I've been spending a long time on these rooms, the longer I spend on them, the better it is for us. Ooh, barely made that one. That bomb is useless, but we do have 85 to spare. Um, yeah, the longer we spend on them, the better it's going to be. That was, again, almost terrible damage for me. Let's toss a bomb in the middle there. Again, another useless one. Fantastic. Did manage to take one guy down. Now, please tell me we get another one here. And Nail is just charging like crazy. Pretty soon we're going to be at three and a half spirit hearts, provided I don't take any more damage in the very near future. Provided in the next room, depending on how long it takes, I should be able to survive that. And with the nail, I think this greed run is going to be uh, sustainable in the long term then. Maybe not. Again, I'm not sure if we're going to be able to go through the cathedral here. We usually get the cathedral now, but sometimes it gets a little bit wonky. Uh, we use the bomb here. But uh, I don't know if we're going to be able to get to the chest. Judas Tongue makes deals with the devil cost less. If only it had made deals with the devil cost spirit hearts, we wouldn't have been in that harrowing position that we were in for a little while here. Where I was very briefly down to uh, only one heart remaining. It's pretty scary, man. When a single fly running into you, as just happened there, can, can end your days. Uh, it's not the most reassuring of feelings. But anyway, with the battery, everything's getting charged up quickly here. I don't really have any reason to complain. We've got a pretty overpowered set. Oh, so close. We've got a pretty overpowered set right here. Now, we've got a pretty overpowered set of, uh, of items. It's not game-breaking, but we're certainly not in a position where I should be super worried about, um, you know, just having a terrible accident and dying. Like, it's not like we're having a ladder builder or ladder climbing competition here or something. Our safety is fairly guaranteed since we are not engaging in any time travel here. So we're certainly going to get one nail charge. The question is, can we get one and a little bit extra? The answer is yes. We will get one extra charge just for finishing this room. Two of clubs. Why not double our bombs? Takes us from 83 to 99. As any of you who have passed, you know, second grade math know, uh, 83 doubled actually is 99. Just one of those weird quirks of math that makes it so difficult to learn. Uh, we're going to back the fuck up here because we got in a terrible state. And we managed to dodge that shot. We are going to get up to halfway here in terms of charges. And I'm a little bit scared because these champions are doing a lot of damage. Well, this champion, not these champions. Let's not make it seem harder than it is. 
A lot of this boils down to my own ineptitude. Seriously, this guy's hard to hit, though. Almost got hit again there. There we go, finally. Uh, why not waste some keys to get through here? General wanton wastefulness, but oh well. Our item room is going to contain Mom's pad, which obviously, even if we weren't forced to skip over it by the provisions that I set upon myself here, we would skip over it anyway, because it's garbage. Might even be worse than having nothing. Well, it's not, because it, it does cause enemies to move away. But, uh... Certainly not very good. Mom's bra is at least a little bit effective. It's not a great item, but I had previously, I used to lump Mom's pad and Mom's bra in the same category, but that's just simply not fair. Mom's bra is actually an item that, if it shows up and you don't have any other spacebar items, taking it is not a horrible idea. So I do believe that this is a, a longer floor, or a bigger floor, I should say. Dealing with so many leapers is going to be a pain in the ass, but the silver lining on this gray cloud might be that, you know, the longer we spend on a room like this, the, the more potential charges we get on our nail. Although we're, we're basically breaking even at this point, so finishing these rooms faster doesn't really bother me. Let's just hang out with this leaper for a while. Ah, you know, let's kill it. Let's not be, be overly cheesy here. Hurry up, please. Any second now. There we go. The nail is charged. Didn't even need to come into this room, but felt like it might be a good idea. Again, nail charges are most important to me right now. Because these spirit arts are going to carry us through. We're still lower than we were with Guppy's Paw. But keep in mind, Guppy's Paw did take us down to zero. So we, we've built up a decent stock since then. Just got to move whenever one of them's in the air. Perfect. We have a, a nice... Oh, this is a scary room. Thank, thankfully, I did have those speed upgrades, so I was at least able to... Dodge that bomb fly for a while. We do get a uh, spirit heart. It wasn't even a champion, but we get a spirit heart regardless. I'll take it. Uh, and that is borderline essential right now. Extra money is totally worthless to us. Greed not taking extra money? I know, it's silly. What can I say? I'm turning over a new leaf. So is the game. Although, did I say turning over a new leaf? I meant turning over a new leaf, because all we fight these days are leapers. Uh, that was my kindergarten teacher voice, and I apologize for using it on you. And I apologize to myself for using it. It makes me feel like a big dumb dumb. So what do we have here? Lard! I would love to take it, but it's against the spirit of the competition. Or the spirit of the, the, the challenge, anyway. What's the point of doing these rites of passage if you're just going to cheat on them, right? It's like in Brazil. Well, not in all of Brazil, because that would make the country seem very silly. But, you know, there's tribes in South America and Brazil... Where, for the rite of passage to become a man in the eyes of the, the tribe, they have to, like, shove their hand in this glove filled with fire ants. It would be like if you put on another glove before you put your glove in the, your hand in the fire ant glove. It just wouldn't be cool, man. You'd, for the rest of your life, you'd be known as a cheater. The dumb guy who wouldn't put his hand in the glove full of fire ants. Wow, look at this asshole. Thinks he's better than the tribe. Doesn't want to get, you know, horribly burned and scarred. Might as well use the nail here while we have a chance, because we're getting a free charge once we kill Chubb. Hopefully, there we go, finally. Drop some more shots in here. Drop some more shots. Drop some more shots. Snoop Lion is going to be knocking on my door, suing me any day now. Probably not. He's embraced Rastafarianism, and as we know, uh, a big appeal of the, the Rastafarian faith or culture is uh, respect for the Creative Commons licenses in the Digital Millennium Copyright Act. Uh, and the principles of fair use, of course. Anyway, we are just gonna kill this dude. We have two bosses that we're gonna be fighting here. First, obviously, I want to go to our last shop. If I can get a 9-volt or a nun's habit working in conjunction with the battery, I would be a very happy man. Nail is gonna be charged. Shop is not gonna contain greed. Not gonna contain greed, but it does only contain a map. <laughs> so we're gonna have to do this, uh, basically... By the strength of our brow. I mean, we only had... This is the problem with greed. We only had three shops. I mean, it's, I don't know why that happened. I don't think it was like a principle of the game. I think it was just bad luck. So, unlimited money, only get three shops. Makes things fairly difficult for us. We do have this hangman card. Not sure when I'm going to use that. Who knows? Maybe we'll come across a good situation in the near future. That was terrible damage for me to take. Could we get just like unlimited spirit hearts fighting Monstro 2 here? Again, that would be sort of apart from the spirit of the challenge runs here. Instead, we'll just take a hundred years to kill Monstro 2 in the cheapest way we know how. And I should probably move him a little bit over to the right. Oh man, he got me again. Hit me twice, can't believe it. Um, yeah, I should move him a little bit out to the center here because we're 
getting a little close to the wall, which worries me. Now we got him in a good location. Playing chicken a little bit. There we go. He's dead. We get the magic eight ball. Sweet ass. Tarot card is strength. Beats the hanged man, probably. Who knows? This heart might come really in handy on this fight right here. This shouldn't be too bad. That was nasty, though. So we're fighting Mom. We're gonna get the Polaroid. Polaroid's gonna be great. Oh, shit, okay. Stop talking. Polaroid's gonna be great because we're gonna get that sweet invincibility due to our spirit heart setup. Nail's gonna charge very soon. Just keep an eye out for that. There we go. So now we're doing even more damage. If we can get another nail charge, we'll do even more damage, although I think that's unlikely. We're not firing fast enough to hit Mom more than once or twice unless we time it perfectly. Twice perfectly. Once normally. This is going well. Mom's dead. We get HP up, which we do not want. We want the Spirit Hearts instead. We're going to play old school Northern Lion style. All Spirit Hearts. Polaroid for the invincibility. Not just the fact that it allows us to go to the chest. And let's move on here. So we're on Utero 1. Kind of a longer run than I expected. I honestly expected this run to be a little bit faster. And easier. But that, I kind of relied on also getting uh, items like the Mark or the Pact, whereas instead, we pretty much just got items that uh, inflated our Spirit Hearts, which is good, in a way, but also puts us in a position where, like, offensively, we're pretty weak. I would love to get a Nun's Habit, though. I think it can drop from Golden Chests in Utero, although it's a long shot for sure, so we're just going to drop some random bombs in here, in hopes that maybe... That's going to be the easiest way to take these guys out. As you can see, it's working fairly well for us now. Drop a bomb right here. I think this is going to work. Beautiful timing. And we are up to six spirit arts now. Now, sadly... Oh, yeah, that's what I was going to say. We've got a rough situation here. A single bomb will take care of that pretty easily. And we get a spirit art drop for some reason. A relic would have been a, a great pickup as well. We're just going to keep this going. Uh, again, I should probably stop using so many bombs, because I don't think this reflects how I would actually play uh, if in this situation I didn't have 99 bombs. But my tears do so little damage that the temptation is so strong, so... Oh my god, okay, just taking some terrible damage there, but that's okay. Just gonna wait for these guys to come back in. For some reason, my brain just does not work with the principles of dodging that these guys require. So we're gonna wait for them to come in. He'll die in one hit. Yes. No more spirit hearts, but a nail charge is going to give us a little bit of a benefit there. Could go for the golden chest, although the maneuvering required to make that work is going to be cost prohibitive, I think. So we're just going to use Rath's own bombs against it. I'm going to take some horrible damage because I'm an idiot who doesn't understand how to play the Binding of Isaac effectively. Namely, I don't understand that you're supposed to just not take damage when it's possible. I'm always like, Mom, I want to go fast. I want to kill the boss fast. No. Take your time. Be patient. Eat your peas. It'll help you avoid diabetes type 2 when you're older. I still don't like peas, though. Look at the vegetable's too sweet, man. Vegetables should be bitter, maybe savory. I realize there's many different kinds of vegetables. I'm a vegetable fan. You know, you toss me a good asparagus, I'll eat that. Obviously, the standard mirepoix, celery, carrots, potato, onion, stuff like that. Uh, dude, right up my alley. I can go for that any day of the week. You think I don't like a nice vegetable soup? You're fucking crazy. However... Peas, man. Too sweet. And too many of them. It's difficult to eat. What, what kind of utensil do you have for peas, right? You can stab them with your fork, but you're just gonna make them all mushy. That's the other thing. Mushy peas. Don't even get me started on that. You can just unsubscribe right away if you're a fan of mushy peas. I'm just kidding. Don't do that. This is my job. And I shouldn't be actively discouraging people from being here. We only have one health left. Nails saved our life here. Um, but yeah, what, you use a spoon for your peas? But then, you know, you're, you're cooking at home, you don't always have a spoon when you're serving yourself. It's usually just a knife and fork. There's lots of logistical problems with peas. And I think uh, they should be eradicated from the face of the earth. That's not fair. If you like peas, I got no problem with you, unless the peas are mushy, in which case, I'll meet you fucking outside. Uh, we should probably take out these guys first, because they have the more potential. Oh, god damn it, that was terrible. It was all because of that P tangent. But in any case, again, thank you to Jin Dragon for the greed suggestion. Ended up a little bit underpowered, but that was a pretty fun run in its own right. And I'll be checking out more themed user-suggested challenge runs in the future. So as always, leave your suggestions in the comments below, and I will see you guys next time.